morning from Chiang Mai. <laughs> this is going to be my final morning in Chiang Mai for about four days because we are off to Pai. Uh, you're to Pai. Yes, I'm off to Pai, sir. We're getting the bus there. It's about 130 kilometers north of uh, Chiang Mai, and the bus is going to take about four hours. And if you're a uh, and this, and if you've got motion sickness, uh, hello. <laughs> and this is Welcome my. my in the fire. And this is my grab driver. We're just getting a motorcycle taxi to the bus stop, and then yeah, about a four-hour bus journey. There's supposed to be about three thousand turns going up and up and through the mountains, so it's supposed to be quite a spectacular ride. So yeah, looking forward to it. Anyway, Pi. Let's go to Pi. God, has this dude got enough eggs? <laughs> That's the egg man around here. He had about 200 eggs on his motorbike. All the best, bro. So we're just at the bus service now where we're gonna we're a bit early, we're out half an hour early, it's pretty quiet. But yeah, cool. Minivan to pie, just in the sign, so I'm in the right spot. Just hang around here for half an hour, hopefully get a window seat and then and then get the bus up to pie. As you can see the minivan's a little bit full. <laughs> Hopefully I'm sitting back there somewhere. And what a lovely little pit stop it is. Just got my coffee, 40 baht. Only here 15 minutes, so sadly. Not a bad little spot to have a coffee. Oh, it's really nice here and we're not far from Pi at all now, only about an hour and a half. And welcome to Pi. We've just been dropped off at basically Pi Walking Street and we will be back down here in a few hours. It's about a 20 minute walk to my hostel so I'm just going to do that now. We're in the baking heat of the sun so let's just get uh, to my hostel, dump off my stuff, freshen up and come back down this way. First impression's really good. A lot of tourists here and yeah overall that was a pretty good ride in the minivan. Good job from the driver. <laughs> As I catch my breath. Kitchen hub, hostel and cafe. Now I'm in a private room, so hopefully I've got one of these chalets. And here we have it, just met the owner. Seems a really nice guy, they're all cooking up there, so I'm kind of leaving them to it. I'll catch up with them all later. And here's my little hut. And that's going to be a nice view, especially in the morning and at sunset. Right, let's go. <laughs> this is the first time I've been in here as well, so let's check it out. <laughs> and there we have it. That was, that was a quick tour. A bit of lucky. Oh, that's a good point actually. Charging. <laughs> First thing I looked for. Oh, nice. And I imagine there'll be some shower facilities somewhere. So this is my humble abode for the next four nights. It's even got a little window. <laughs> well, this is quite cool actually. Brilliant. Yeah, I will. I'll do loads. I'll do a lot of filming. You'll be seeing me with my GoPro a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Art. What a lovely fella.
the owner of the hostel and he's currently taking a cooking class <laughs> with some other travellers. He's just given me my complimentary coffee and I've just basically checked in. I was speaking to another traveller here and she's already um, staying longer than planned in this hostel because it's that nice so that's a pretty good sign. Yeah this looks uh, something a bit special actually up here. And check this out, I haven't eaten all day so when he offered me uh, some food I couldn't resist. Chicken pad thai, 60 baht, look at the size of it. The menu's just behind me and I'm not going to spend much either because this hostel is very cheap. As you walk down to the walking street there's just loads of like, it's a really rural area this, loads of small farms, chickens running around. Yeah it's a real agricultural area this, so it's amazing, seeing all the locals getting on with their daily lives. And if you want to come and see Mike Tyson fight, come to Pi. And so as I walked to my hostel, I walked over this bamboo bridge that goes over Pi River. And I noticed this absolutely brilliant little cafe bar. So I'm going to have a drink. This spot's amazing. Pai Lois Resort and you've got these family huts over here as well and it's just really nice next to the river people are chilling out even on the jetty I've had a uh, drinks in worse places that's for sure this is really nice here if you're coming to Pai make sure you check this place out it's really easy because it's just by the famous bamboo bridge. Uh, 100 baht singer, absolutely fine. Northern Thai curry noodles with chicken, 50 baht. Oh, this is really nice. Came in a bit of a cardboard uh, container thing, but I wasn't really expecting, but never mind. Yeah, really, really good. It's been a long day and I've only eaten that uh, pad thai, so I needed something else. And then after this, we'll go for a beer. I'm not really sure about this sign, to be honest. <laughs> the thing is, it says that there's a weed shop just there. <laughs> and there's bars all along that. We're so a pie, baby! <laughs> <laughs> And so we reach the end of the walking street. Goes on for about a kilometre, absolutely amazing. Full of just like food vendors, loads of bars, places to eat, places to drink, places to have fun. So uh, let's just do that, should we? Let's go down to a bar there and have a drink. One bar, which is really good down this strip, Paisy Bar. There is an offer, two beers for 100 bar. And uh, I've heard they play live music, possibly tonight there as well. So we're going to go and check it out and have a few beers. People playing pool, sports on the TV. Let's go and get a beer, should we? And one good thing about this bar is as well is you can just bring your own food in. So you can just get um, you can get your meal from any one of the number of food stalls here and just bring it into the bar. So brilliant. But there's a place just to the right of it down this alley which you've, uh, I've got to show you because uh, it's supposed to be really good. I've heard such good reviews about it. It's called Spirit.
so we're on the rooftop bar now and as you can see there's like a little terrace down here just a really cool bar everyone sitting down on bean bags there people chilling out having fun right let's go and get a beer and join them So oh, that's the bar spirit down the alley. Make sure you check that out when you come to Pi. I think it's time we wrap up the video before I have too many drinks to do an outro. Right, everyone come to Pi, it's absolutely amazing.